All right, thank you for joining us tonight. Tonight we're gonna make uh, Yakima bread and we're gonna show you guys how to make some good stuff and then you can continue on with it and make, maybe make some Indian tacos and whatnot. So Chance, the first thing that we gotta do is put our flour in it. But we lost our measuring cup, so Chance is gonna show us how to, how to make a measuring cup. So, so we got this Tupperware and I think probably about right here is one cup, one cup, and then about right here is two cups. So, so. If, you, if you guys ever lose your measuring cup, that's how you can do it. So we got one cup and we have two cups. So now, right now, Chance is gonna dump two cups of flour in for our Yakima bread. And it's important that you really eyeball it just right because if you start trying to make it really like right on point, then it could be it could be really doughy. You can you can even there you go. That looks about right to me. Yeah. Looks good. Our two cups. Yep. So you're gonna dump that in there into your bowl so that you have just your two cups of flour. Now you're gonna make a well in the middle or like a hole, whatever you wanna call it. So once you do that, we're gonna move this over here. So we we went over to Harold's and they didn't have no bluebird bluebird flour, so this is what we're using tonight. Um, any flour will work. So now that he's made as well in there, he's going to well, again, uh, uh, we're gonna eyeball it and then and dump warm water in there. Warm water works the best out of everything. And we'll put a uh, half a cup. So eyeball a high, half a cup in there. Uh, a little bit more. Yeah, I'd say right there. So that's perfect. Cause we don't really use measurement cups. So now the next thing you do is about a half a cup of milk and you're gonna dump it in inside. Now our, our, I think Chance didn't have a big enough well, so it's overflowing, but it's still good. So you'll dump about a little bit of, yep, perfect. Now you're gonna have a, once you put your milk in there, that's gonna give it the fluffiness of it. It's gonna be like, like that. So now we're gonna add a dash of salt. So just dash it, that's all. We don't wanna get crazy with it. Your dash is bigger than my dash, but that's cool. So now we're gonna, we put our milk in there, we put our salt, our water. Now we're gonna put two teaspoons um, of baking powder in there. Once again, we're just gonna eyeball it, so. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, your fry bread's not gonna be edible tonight. <laughs> All right, so now you're gonna stir it around with your hands and everything else like that. And then I will go over here and I need the measuring cup for sure. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but hopefully uh, make sure we, we measure it just right to two cups. I know Chance is spot on when it comes to this, so. There's our two cups. <sighs> That's a workout, I think it's heavy. All right, we added our two cups in. The next thing we're gonna do is make our well. I'm gonna make a deep old well. So don't forget that once you're, you're using your your warm water, that we're using half a cup. That's uh, about eyeball level. Then you're using your, your milk to give it the fluffiness, the bang. And that's half a cup too, right about there. And we're using a dash of salt. Not a whole lot of salt, don't need a whole bunch. A little bit, a couple more dashes. And then, I better use my measuring cup. I think, I think, I think this is, so if we go down right about here, we'll mark it right here as one teaspoon. I think that's about what we need. That looks good to me. So we'll use the corner to measure it out. Uh, all right, oh, see? Stuff just Yeah, that stuff just comes <laughs> out. <laughs> all right. See, it's the good thing I used my um, measuring cup and chance in, so we'll add that in there. All right, so now we have everything in there, and you mix it around. Do you need, need any more water? water? Yeah. If, you, if it gets a little dry, you, you, you can always add more water in there, too. Like this? Yeah, if it gets stringy, you can add more water. 
So that could be your baking powder that you put a whole bunch in. That's a lot of baking powder. Well, if you've never heard of Yakima bread tonight, so make sure that you subscribe and add anything to more recipes that we're gonna come up with. And I do need more water too. Then we're gonna be adding flour. Then we'll be adding more water. Then we'll be adding flour. <laughs> then we're gonna have a big old mound of it. This brings me back to the Head Start days right here. Fried bread every morning. Yep. We would fried have bread. fried bread every morning if it was up to me. Or Yakima bread. Yep, Yakima bread. Everybody just stole the name from us, so they, they call it fried bread now and whatnot, so. Don't even know where fry came from. Yeah, how did they fry it back in the days? <laughs> I don't know, how's yours turning out? It's more water. Are you sure? Yeah, it's all stringy. All right, let me get my it's under control. Like a tablespoon, I think. A tablespoon of water. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mine's really good, babe. I'll have to hand you the water <laughs> without my hands. <laughs> all right, there you go. I need the water. All right, I think I'm getting mine somewhat under control. Doesn't feel like it, but it feels, well, maybe not, I don't know. I think we might just turn around and then make some Yakima tacos tonight too, so once I can get this under control from my fingers, which is, I think I need some flour. As sticky as it is, I think I need flour. I think everybody's already seen this, so they're starting to try to come over right now. Ugh. More flour it is. All right. I need some of that too. You need some flour? Yeah. All right. Kind of need an assistant. Assistant flour passer. And assistant water passer. Yeah, water pass passer. We just need help. Alright, I think we're doing good now. You got enough water? Got en oh yeah, yours is looking pretty good too. Alright. Alright, so once you get it all moved around, or you got enough flour, yeah, just keep moving around. Working it, working that flour, working that that dough, work it, work it like that. Like, then y'all start seeing how it's starting to come out, looking really good. Our four subscribers said that we're pretty good at this, so we thought we'd do it again, show everybody. All right, how's yours coming out? Really good. Looking, yeah, that's looking pretty good, huh? I should have put oil on my finger so that way I would. <laughs> I wouldn't, uh, I don't know, it's just kind of really sticky at first though. Once we got, got some flour in there, it starts turning out a little bit good. Okay. All right, you ready? Are you good enough? Yeah. So because it's getting dark and then we're just <laughs> we're just doing this one shoot, we're not gonna like uh, let our dough sit and and rise. We're gonna get on it. We're gonna do it right now. We're gonna make some yakima bread. So you want to try it first, and then that way if it well let's actually what you can do too is like when you're not sure where your heat level is at. You can take a little piece of your Yakima bread and drop it in there. And we're right about, we're at, we're gauging that. That's at about 175. That's what that's at. So 
that's actually just right. So if you're, okay, boy, you're not ready yet. We're both not ready. Jump in the gun. But that's one way to see where, where your oil's at and like how long it's gonna take. So now, all right, you ready, Chance? Yeah. Oh, you're already, you're already started on that part. So now you're gonna take a little piece and break it off, right? Like that. I'm gonna take a little bit bigger piece. And then you can go first if you want to. And then sometimes it helps if you like put a little bit of flour. And there goes our, it's done. <laughs> it's a popcorn. <laughs> well, we know our, we know our, you know what? I gotta like grab that and then let, it's done. It's ready to eat. Look at that. That's to right. That's to perfection. Oh yeah. Ever tasted. Oh yeah. Maybe you should put one in there to try yours. <laughs> well, I guess when it pops out of there, it's ready to go, man. It's literally cracking. Just gotta catch it. Yeah. Just don't let it. Don't let it hit the table. Like I did, because I was kind of. All right. This one's ready. All right. Burn my hands. Wait so. a second. You need to. You need to. Uh, you need to uh, flop it around somewhere and pan it out. Make sure you. You're working it. You weren't working it. You said you were gonna work it. I did work. All right. So so you just go like this, bro. It helps. In, in circles, and then you keep kind of pushing, pulling it out a little by little, like that. There you go. You don't want to have big old fat fat inside because it's going to take forever to cook. Alright, you feel adequate with that? Yeah. Alright, let's go man. Let's do this. <laughs> uh -oh, since his is cooking. You got your tongs too. Let's move them. Let's move our flour away. I think mine needs a little bit more flour. It needs a dash. Alright, are we too hot do you think? No. I'll turn it down just a bit. So now we're probably about 170. Now we're at 165. Alright. We're right there though, that's pretty good. So I had to add a little bit more flour to mine so to make sure. Okay, it's looking good bro. You might want to flip it over now. So once this gets there, don't splash it too either. There you go. Looks nice, man. That's a bomb yak in my bed. Okay, you can pull your, your example out. All right, so you make sure you want to keep going in circles and start expanding it out a little bit. So it's, it's pretty windy tonight, too, so uh, make sure that we don't have it, it all different, crazy different sizes, but this is what it is. Sometimes when you have really big ones, then you can poke holes in the middle of it so it cooks kind of evenly. You don't have it all crazy, but all right. So mine is next. I'm gonna put mine up next. We got a bowl over there too for when they finish up. So and then make sure, of course, you lay it in there. Chances is hogging all the room up tonight, so. Then what I'll do is kind of put some oil up on it and whatnot. It looks like it's gonna combust in some type of way though. We'll flip. You okay? All right. My tongue slipped. I didn't do it on purpose. All right. So I'm gonna keep trying to put oil on there. These Are you sure? Are you okay? Yeah. All right. These ones have a little cup. All right. There. Yours is. Yours got the little cup though. Try to get it over your bread. And right now, I think that it's coming out really nicely. It has that nice, that, when you add the milk to it, it gives it that nice crisp, yet yeah, yeah, that fluffiness, that color, that brownish, that really intriguing Yakima yeah. Indian taco color. Yeah, it's looking good. You want me to pass? You want to trade sides so I get yours back over there? Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Okay. Now we're now now we're in better shape now. Looks like the fire meter. 
did, didn't it? <laughs> that wind blew our, blew our, all right. Uh, don't worry, we got it under control. For a second, we kind of panicked there for a little second because we're sitting and really getting down and all of a sudden we look underneath and then our fire went out. So that's how heavy the wind is tonight, so. I think that wind blew it out because it was going pretty good. Mm, look at that big. That's a that's a shape of an arrowhead, man. That's a Yakima arrowhead braid. Did it on purpose. Yep. It's got that much talent. And then I have my tongs have a holes in it, so I'm not really benefiting my yeah, switch tongs. I think we could, we could switch some tongs. Because you're, you're at the level where you're going to just take yours out now, huh? Yeah. Just out. Oh. I'm going to go slippery. Yeah. It looks good, bro. Yeah. I like it. I think it's done. Yeah. So you can, there's the, yeah, there's our pause. Kind of make sure, like, to make sure we're checking on it, because it kind of after it went out, our oil kind of uh, cooled, cooled off, off on us. So, I think this will fit in. Yeah, sure will. Ooh. It's like that. Don't just throw it in there either. Uh, you start throwing things in there, and then you get oil all over each other. See, now we're now we're going good. So next time we're at Treaty Days or somewhere else like that and you guys see us making some Yakima bread, stop by and get some. We'll probably have jerky there too, and some pepperoni sticks and whatnot too. Or that place at Cena be there too. Yours cooks a lot faster than mine for some reason. Because I'm certified pro. <laughs> <laughs> so your next contest should be Yakima uh, Brig contest. It should be. We should do a winner takes all, huh? Yeah. Winner We're takes all the fried bread. Yeah. Or Yakima. Maybe bread. it's just hotter over on that side. Let me let me switch the spots. Nope. It's still doing the same thing. Mine just popped to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, yours is like an anchor. <laughs> <laughs> Tied off. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip mine over. Finally, it's getting there. I'll make sure I fill in my hole. It's starting to get dark, so we're gonna try to hurry up because I know we're losing our lighting. That's very unprofessional when you lose your lighting. So we'll just probably finish that. Chances uh, or mine, and then chances we'll finish it up. So make sure it gets a little bit of oil in there because it needs a little bit of oil. The inside is kind of kind of looking like it needs some help so other than that it's looking pretty good and then you notice when it starts floating too that you're, you're doing way better it's looking good Making me hungry now. Yeah, can't wait to eat it. Make sure that if it's not, if it needs some help on top too, that you're you're dipping your grease on there. Next time we'll make some Yakima huckleberry pancakes. Mmm, pancakes too. Some huckleberries. All right, and there's what my piece has turned out to look like. Perfection. So there's your Yakima bread for tonight. If you guys have any questions, drop a comment, and we'll, we'll tell you guys anything you guys want to know. All right, have a good night, everybody.